evening uh, on Winchester Road. We're told Perion Restaurant, that uh, is where that shooting happened, possibly in the parking lot. You're taking a look at some pictures that we just received into our newsroom. Uh, we're told that there is a heavy police presence. In fact, that is a live picture uh, that you're looking at right now. Again, this is on Winchester. And just looking at the map, for those of you familiar with the area, it seems as if it's Winchester between Kirby Parkway and Ridgeway Road. Back to that story we told you about off the top of the broadcast, a deadly shooting in Hickory Hill with connections to Memphis rapper Yo Gotti. Fox 13's Lakia Scott joins us live tonight from St. Francis Hospital. That's where the victims were taken. Lakia, what were you able to find out? Good evening to you. Good evening, Daniel. Well, at least five police sources have confirmed with Fox 13 that the person killed is Anthony Mims, also known as Big Jook. Now, Big Jook is the brother of rapper Yo Gotti. Now, we were at that scene earlier tonight. Police say two men were shot outside Perion's restaurant and event center around 4:15. Now that's on Winchester near Kirby. According to the Memphis Police Department, the victim was inside a vehicle at the time and was brought here to St. Francis Hospital where he was pronounced deceased. Now I'm also learning there was a second person who was shot and was also taken to the hospital. It has not been confirmed who the second person is, but we do know it is a man and he was airlifted to Regional 1 in critical condition. Now the Memphis Police Department spoke with us today in a press conference. Let's listen. Right now we do have video that we're analyzing, but we don't have a clear suspect identified at this time. But we know that a, a weapon was used, a, a firearm was used in this incident. Um, it, we do feel like the individual that was uh, shot was possibly targeted by the suspect. Can you tell us who are the one of the victims is your guy's brother? I can't confirm anything yet. We're working on trying to develop uh, suspect information, and as we get information, we will release what we have uh, as it comes forward. Can you tell us whether this is relative to um, Young Dolph, Big Jug, Yo, um, Yo Gotti, whether they're related to each other? There's no, there's no, uh, uh, this is preliminary, so we hadn't developed a connection to that at this time. Um, it, we do feel like the individual that was uh, shot was possibly targeted by the suspect. You were hearing there was a repass or some sort of funeral procession going on over here at the time? Yes. These individuals, the two individuals that were shot, were attending a repass uh, uh, at this location. Last question. How many uh, suspects did you say that there were? I never said how many, but we know at least one shooter uh, that we believe at this time that there may be more involved in this. Now, again, at least five police sources confirmed with Fox 13 that the person killed is Anthony Mims, also known as Big Jook. Big Jook, again, is the brother of rapper Yo Gotti. Now, according to police, there is at least one shooter, but there may be more involved. Daniel. Fox 13's Lakia Scott starting our live coverage off at 9 with major breaking news. Lakia, thank you. Yo, 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 it's Big Ant, the spokesman, man. We back. Another edition of Urban Politicians TV, UPTV. Make sure you stay on your pivot at all times, man. Had to come tap in. And first and foremost, I want to send condolences to the entire family of Anthony Mims, also known as Big Jook, Yo Gotti's brother, who was shot and killed today outside of their restaurant, Perrion's, after leaving a repast or before the repast for the funeral and everything like that and i see the storylines that are going on on the internet people been sending it to me tagging me in different things videos and things of that nature and i got nothing to do with whatever going on we heard Dolph name mentioned right there we've been seeing this storyline going on for years i can't confirm nothing i'm not from memphis i ain't got nothing to do with that but i tell you this on either side of any situation whether what's involved or not there's somebody family member that love you when you die, bro. And that's what I tell niggas all the time. I'm a sick adult to those people who ain't got nothing to do with nothing or theories who just lost somebody that they love, man. Condolences to them 
hold their heads high. They the ones that got to deal with this in real time and not just in the conversation on the internet. Seeing somebody getting killed at a funeral or outside of a funeral or before a funeral, that's some real deep stuff right there. And I had a link in the description where you can watch that clip in full at, on Fox 13 Memphis, and I'm going to get it to the write-up in just a second. And really, bro, this is clean cut what it is. We see uh, somebody was most definitely after of them. The police saying that it has to be targeted. It seems like it's targeted. Um, a blind man who just hearing this story, not even seeing it, would say, oh, that's most definitely targeted. Anytime you see something happen at a funeral, they knew where they was going to be at. This is not an argument or anything like that. Most definitely, it had to be a situation where it is something going on. Of course, the Internet is going to do the detective stuff. They're going to put storylines together and things of that nature. And I was like, man, this is another wild one. This year starting off crazy. I can't get on here a lot of y'all and confirm nothing, but the storyline is everywhere. Every platform, TMZ, every news outlet from the East Coast all the way to the West Coast, back down to the South and back up to the North. This is crazy with Yo Gotti being one of the uh, moguls in rap and hip hop right now, top music label, seeing the label exec brother shot and killed in daylight after losing after leaving a funeral i say 2024 is about to be a wild year most definitely dog and the write-up says this famed rapper and memphis cultural figure yo Gotti's brother anthony big juke mims was reportedly shot and killed at perion's restaurant on winchester road according to multiple sources the rapper's brother is a victim of a shooting that took place in the vicinity of the restaurant on Winchester Road. He and another critical victim suffered from an apparent gunshot wound from apparent gunshot wounds when the police arrived. Mims was pronounced dead and the other victim is in critical condition. This is an ongoing investigation. There is no suspect information at this time. We know Memphis is real. You know Memphis, it get gutter, it get grimy. It's real stiff out there, especially if you out there living that lifestyle and everything like that. This is how the game go at times, bro. You never know. You never know what's really going on. Only people who know what's going on is the people that's in the know. All I'm going to come on here and do is really speak the facts and everything going on, bro. And I just tell everybody, bro, you know, tell your family every day you love them. You know, appreciate your people while they here. Even if you don't get to talk to them every day, just know, man. You know, live every day like it's your last because you never know what's really going on when it comes to situations like this. But even outside of this, bro, life is life. But seem like, nigga, we really living in hell on earth when I think about it, bro. Like, yeah, it's like I'm a nigga up under God, dog. And everything that I see going on, niggas killing each other, shooting each other. We didn't got desensitized to it, but. Me just getting loaded last night, bro, getting high and drunk and shit, bro. I just, my mind was in a different place, nigga. I was like, bro, it's so much, what, so, it's, bro, nigga so happy to be in a position that he in in life, and I'm blessed, and I see everything clear, and I'm thankful for it all. But then at the other side of it, I be like, damn, bro, my people be in these wars, my people be killing each other, nigga, and that shit really just be like, that shit really be fucking me up, bro. I'm just really coming off the top with this shit on how I feel, bro. Like, I don't know nobody personally. I ain't got no relationship with nobody personally. Nigga that lost punters, you know what I'm saying? Niggas I grew up with then got killed. Niggas that done rolled in my passion seat in my car that really rock with me then got killed. And they be like, damn, bro. The fact that niggas, this is like a way of the world, nigga. And it's like... It's just crazy to say taking a nigga life or a nigga getting his life took. It's like part of the game, man. It's messed up, bro. But condolences to everybody that lost somebody, man. For real, bro. This is wild. 2024, man. That's really all I can say, dog, about this situation. Tell me what y'all think. We got more coming, more videos. All that 1,000 for shit show. Stay on your pivot. More coming.